even while wireless networks are the go-to for many individuals when they need an internet connection on the go. There are instances when they may be a cause of frustration. The sluggish internet speed is an issue. In this video, we'll show you how to fix it if your Samsung phone or tablet seems to have a slow Wi-Fi issue. Rebooting your Samsung should be your first port of call before trying more advanced troubleshooting measures like resetting your network settings. There are connection flaws that can only be exploited after the current OS session has ended. It's possible that these issues may disappear after a system restart. If rebooting your Samsung doesn't fix the problem, You'll need to determine if the issue is with your internet connection speed or with the phone itself. Checking the speed of your connection is the first step to assess your internet speed. You'll need the Speedist by Ookla app, which can be downloaded from the Play Store if you don't already have it. Forcing the device to disengage from the network, also known as forgetting network, is a frequent and, in certain cases, successful method. Disconnecting your device from the router is a common troubleshooting technique, and it might be useful if an issue has formed that appears only while the connection is active. It's simple to forget your device is connected to your Wi-Fi network. The sluggish Wi-Fi connection may be fixed by simply restarting the router and any other networking devices. Most modern ISPs no longer bundle a modem and router together, but if you still have one of each, you should power cycle them in sequence. What you should do is this, turn off the router, turn off devices affected by slow connection issue, wait for at least 30 seconds. Afterwards, turn the modem first and wait until it has fully initialized, then turn the router back on and wait until it too has full initialized. Finally, restart the affected gadgets and see if the connection speed has improved. Even if your network is functioning properly and your connection speed is good, applications or web browsers may still take a long time to load websites. Sometimes, problems of this kind may be traced back to the DNS server your internet service provider is using. Change the DNS1 and DNS2 settings on your device's Wi-Fi to see if it fixes the issue, much like you would when switching from DHCP to static IP. Here's what you need to do to alter your DNS servers. Pull down the status bar from the top. Press and hold on Wi-Fi. Select Manage Network Settings. Make sure that Show Advanced Options is checked. Under IP Settings, select Static. Once you've done that, other fields below will become available so you can configure them. These fields include the IP address, gateway, network prefix length, DNS1, and DNS2. Enter the new DNS servers you want. We suggest that you use Google's own DNS servers as they are more reliable and faster than any other DNS servers out there. For DNS1, enter 888.8 while for DNS2, use 884.4. Any network troubleshooting package should include instructions for resetting your device's network settings. If none of the aforementioned solutions have helped you so far, try resetting your network settings. There is often no need to do a factory reset in situations like yours. You must have a very severe sort of sluggish connection if the problem still occurs at this time. Keep in mind that the aforementioned tips have covered many potential avenues. So if nothing has worked so far, you should examine the possibility of an operating system issue. Open Settings app. Scroll to and tap General Management. Tap Reset. Select Factory Data Reset from the given options. Read the information then tap Reset to continue. Tap Delete All to confirm action. The best course of action, if you still can't fix the issue at this time, is to contact your internet service provider, particularly if you are certain that the issue is related to the router. If you didn't buy your router from your ISP, then you should let them handle any problems that may arise with your router. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel.
or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.